A really good demonstration to do when you're discussing solutions with your students and the idea of saturated, unsaturated, supersaturated is canned heat demonstration. What I've got here is a saturated solution of calcium acetate. Now the way I make that up, to be honest, I put some tap water in a flask, I dump in a bunch of calcium acetate, it comes always as a powder, put a stopper on, shake it, shake it, shake it for about maybe a minute or so, let the undissolved stuff settle. If it all dissolves, put some more calcium acetate in, do that. When you have some that settles to the bottom, you just decant off the top stuff, and you get this nice saturated solution, okay? It does need to be saturated or very near the saturation point for this demonstration to work well, okay? And we're going to use about maybe 30 milliliters of that. Okay? Really a not very precise proportion. It's about three times as much. This is just some ethyl alcohol. I put some blue food coloring in there just so you can distinguish the two. And we're going to use about three times as much, so that'd be about 90 milliliters. Okay? We'll transfer those into the beakers here. There's my calcium acetate solution. Here's my ethanol. Okay, and this transfer should be done pretty quickly. And I like pouring the ethanol quickly into the calcium acetate. That's why I pour it in these larger beakers. So, here we go. <laughs> and do we get anything back? A little bit pours back. Wow. Talk about a quick change that just took place. What is this wonderful blue stuff I've got here? It's a gel, and I'm going to scoop some of it out into this Pyrex Petri dish. Okay. It's a gel that goes by the trade name Sterno. Think about it. It's about three-fourths ethanol by volume. But what caused it to gel up like that? Calcium acetate is very soluble in water. Most acetates are. It's far less soluble in organic solvents like ethanol. What we've got is an ethanol water mixture there. And because it's not as soluble in that, a lot of the calcium acetate precipitates out, crystallizes out. But it does so, it locks up the surrounding liquid, that's the water and the ethanol, into this gel. So you just saw a quick, crystallization of the calcium acetate, but it does so in a way that gels up. And, of course, the best part about this is Sterno is used. And we could probably dim the lights and get a better view of that. Because it burns with a nearly invisible flame. Of course, that's the ethanol. The light's down. You can see it definitely is burning quite well. If you're ever in a pinch and you have some friends coming over, you need a chafing dish and something to heat it, just take out the calcium acetate and ethanol and you're good to go. <laughs> so, um, we can obviously put that out with a larger beaker there and suffocate it. Okay? Nice little demonstration. It burns for a while, of course, until the ethanol gets used up. If you want to make it so you can see that flame a little bit better, you can just add some different salts. This happens just to be some sodium chloride. And now, you can even see that with the lights on, but if we turn the lights off, turn the lights down, you get a, you get a combination there of uh, what you saw before and sodium's flame test, that nice yellow flame there. Okay? Now, that's a wonderful little thing. I've come up with the little lights back on. A variation on that. Because that's great, but you know, what if you want the students to experience it firsthand? And I mean firsthand. You could also do this in Ziploc bags. It works great. So I'm going to take one squirt of my calcium acetate solution, same stuff I used before, okay? That's in one corner. And I'm going to use a different pipette for the other one. You know what's going to happen if I use this same pipette to draw up the ethanol? It'll clog it up instantly because of the joint. So I've got another pipette here that's just to be used for the alcohol. Whoop. I'm going to have to tip this a bit. Or pour it into a beaker, easier access. Not 
had a little bit of calcium acetate still in there, but I need about three times as much, so there's one, two, three. Their lab partner can zip it closed, but I can try doing it here with just one hand. Okay? And now when the two mix together, oh, do you to feel, not just see, but to feel that change in viscosity as it gels up is really quite spectacular. There's not much of a change in temperature. It's like not exothermic or endothermic so much, but there's the, uh, the, the sterno right there in a bag. So much easier cleanup too. Okay? So, canned heat in a bag. Thank you.